a new game. Move around. Click, 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 click. What's this cool scroll here? Let's find out. Apply. Enchantment. I guess we'll do the digger. Alright. And. I'm almost round. Ooh, there's like a weapon over there. Dive. Alright, here we go. Okay, so let's walk in here and get this. Uh, incendiary darts, that's pretty awesome. Never had those before. Dispatch that rat. Get a scroll of enchanting again. I'll save it this time. Now we have scale mail, so we can actually enchant the scale mail. Let's see here, scale mail. Let's see, no hidden properties, rules, and armor. Okay, let's equip the scale mail. Uh, we're donning the armor, okay, and then we're going to enchant it by applying to scale mail, which is now going to be plus 0.25 because the excess of strength, because my enchanting lowered the strength requirement. Alright, get some money, which is just points for a high score. Ah, ah, die. Uh, scroll called nigger de -per -n 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 -n. Let's see what it does. Oh, uh, we summon monsters. That's excellent. I hit the rat. Rat misses me. Kobold clubs me. Let's kill the rat. Let's kill the kobold. Alright. I'm a little low on health, but not too bad. Die, kobold. He was sleeping. Ha <laughs> ha That's my favorite kind of kobold. That one I got killed in the sleep. Man, there's a lot of enemies in this first level. Fortunately, they're all rats and kobolds. Nothing my magical digger and enchanted split mail can't handle. Okay. There's another scroll and a potion. Pink. This is, um, blood work stock and pods. If you walk on top of that, it'll burst into a mist of uh, healing. Um, gas. So we'll save that. Now let's see what this pink potion is. Potion of darkness. Oh god. So it's darkened. Alright, and what's the scroll do? Identify. We can identify the scale mail, I guess. Plus five scale mail? Wow. That's amazing. Okay, well, I walk through the gas by accident anyway. Let's get the coins. I th there's no way to spend money. Oops, I fell in the deep water again. There's no way to spend money as far as I can tell. It's just for points. There's one door down here I haven't explored. Oops, there's a cobalt that I ran into and killed. We'll stick to the shallows and see if there's any cool things around. It's very dark because that's to a potion, so I can't quickly see things nearby. Okay, that's where I came in. Oh, here's an area over here I haven't explored. Potion is lasting forever. I hesitate to walk down to the um, second. Oop, cobalt. I haven't. I don't want to walk down the second level until my potions. <sighs> jackals. Jeez. Um, potions kind of cleared up. We're we getting there. Let's just let's just auto walk over there. Burp. Okay, that's close enough. Oh man, we are right next to a giant chasm. All these squares here are chasm. I can only basically walk down this hallway and hope there's a, a way around. I don't have a potion of invisibility, or a levitation. I do have two new potions, a blue and a mauve. I guess I could drink them, but let's get close to some water first, because one time I died from drinking a potion of... Oh crap, there's more chasm here. So you can tell the, the, the four dots per tile is a chasm tile. And then here's the brink of a chasm, and then here's regular ground. Um, okay. Let's see, there's another way around. There we go. Rope bridge. Leather armor, which I'm, is nowhere near as good as what I got, I'm sure. Oops. A pressure plate clicks under the jackal. Oh, he set off a, a net trap. A dumb jackal. I don't know if I'm stuck. Yeah, I am stuck. Kill the jackal and get out of this net. Ugh. That sucked. Oh, crap. Well, let's stand here and have we got a potion of burning. It'll burn some of the net away, maybe. 
Potion of Strength, sweet. Permanent plus one strength, now I have a 13. Now my scale mail is actually plus 0.5 because of high strength. And my dagger is actually plus uh, 0.5 because of my excessive strength as well. So there you go. So that was worth it. What's this potion do? Something also awesome? Oh god, it caused the floor to descend and create a hole in the floor. So here I fall to depth three. Thankfully there was ground underneath me and not like another chasm. Uh, I ambushed that rat though. Die rat. Oops. Cobalt got me because I hit the wrong key. Got some more money. Here's a rat chasing me. Like a fool. The rat did scratch me. I am a little low in health, but I can rest if I have to. He comes back pretty quickly. Oops, there's a cobalt that I killed quickly. Uh, let's go around this corner here. Oh, there's the stairs up. We could get back up to the second floor. Let's, let's do that. Oh no, this is depth four. Where was I? Oh, this is the stairs going down. Okay. We don't want to go in there yet. Die. Kobold. Or, oh, it's a goblin. They're a little bit tougher. Hit the goblin. Goblin missed you. What's the stats on these guys? So you can put your cursor over a thing and it doesn't give you numbers. It just says the goblin's got a 20% chance to hit you and does about 30% of your current health. He could beat me if he hits me five times. I'm almost certain to hit it and I can kill it with one hit, in theory. Of course, as we've seen, I've hit it twice and it didn't die. I missed, I missed, I missed. Okay, so it was missing me too, so that's fine. Uh, I like how they simplified the combat, actually. I think that's kind of a smart thing. I mean, it doesn't, does it really matter if it's telling me I'm doing 20 damage and it has 20 health? Because it's the same thing as I'll kill it in one hit. Alright. Kobolds went down in a couple swings. Goblin skewered me. Ooh, I think that's a critical hit. But I got him. Uh, and a mace. Let's look at the mace's stats. Uh, I don't have enough strength to wield it effectively, but it would increase my damage by almost double right now. Um, I'm going to enchant it. Enchanting weapons lowers the strength requirement, as well as makes it more powerful. So if I can find a scroll of enchantment and some potions of strength, I'll be able to wield a mighty mace. And that'll be all. Ooh, what's this weapon? An axe. Man, I'm finding a lot of weapons. Um... Not as big of a penalty, not as big of an increase in damage, but it does arc and swing um, adjacent enemies. What's the mace do? It takes two turns when it hits. Oh, I see. It does a lot of damage, but I can only swing it every other turn. So the axe is actually pretty solid. It's a little bit easier to get up. I might, I might work on that. Oh, here's uh, some food and another potion. What in the world is this? A hole. Just a single hole. Not even a chasm, just a hole. There's the entrance that I missed out on. Oh. What was happening up here? Did the hole spread? The hole must have spread. I wonder what happened. I wonder if I triggered a trap or something. Uh, okay, well, I'm on depth four. This is where things start really getting interesting. Oh god, it's a um, spectral blade summoning... Um, Goblin Conjure. If I kill it, the blades will all drop away, though. Okay, the goblins, the blades nicked me. I hit the con. I hit him. Get up here. Okay, I got him. Jeez. All right, his blades were dangerous. He was guarding. Flux Glorp Wolfa. Let's see. I have a couple potions. I should probably figure out what they do. Hey, maximum health increased by 33%. Excellent, and it fully healed me. That's excellent. Um, what's the scroll do? Scroll of recharging. I don't have anything in my backpack to recharge. That's like stabs and wands. And what's this one do? Whoa. Scroll of discord. When I fired off in that direction, I don't hit anybody. The nice thing is, is now I, if I find those same scrolls or same potions, potion of strength, I know what they are without having to guess. So let's drink this, because there's no reason not to. And how does that axe look now? Minus 2.5. So I'm only one point of strength or one enchantment scroll away from using it effectively. Yeah, hey, out of curiosity, is that 51% still? Nope, see, it's 74% now. Actually, you know what? That's close enough. Let's just use this for a while. That's kind of cool. Another axe. An axe and plus 5 armor. I'm doing real well, I think. Oh, I killed that monkey. Haha. <laughs> Monkeys suck. They steal your stuff. Here's a scroll we've never used before. Shattering the 
scroll of shattering piercing the nearby walls. I don't know where that did. Ooh, a staff. Staffs are magical. Let's apply it. It wants me to pick a target. Let's just pick this. I don't have any idea what that did. I suppose it's not going to tell me. Uh, warm to the touch. Let's try and target an enemy with it. I don't want to go through the deep water because I'll probably uh, drown or something. Alright, here we go. What's over here? Ah! A target for our rosewood staff. Oh, it's a staff of healing. That's awesome. Okay. I killed the Goblin Conjurer as I saw the door. Uh, let's see, that's a Cobalt. Dive. Oh! Oh, the frog hit me and I'm hallucinating. Now it's changing into different animals. It's a zombie. It's a dragon. It's a vampire. It's probably just a frog, though. Is this going down? No, it's the one's going up. Let's get back up to where I was. Good grief. I'd like to see what happened to that floor over there. I'm not, I'm not gonna fight if I don't have to. You don't really seem to gain levels in this game. Um, which is cool, but also means maybe we don't have to. Oh, I almost. My, my darts floated away. I picked them up again, though. See, what in the world made that hole just appear? Oh. Oh, it's like some sort of, like, trap. Oh, man, I fell again. I fell next to some healing things. I'm gonna just stay away from that. I don't, that's, I don't know what that's all about. I've never encountered that before. Um, alright, so we need to find the way down to depth 5. Uh, oh, here we go. Depth 5. Alright, this is, I think, as far as I've ever gotten depth-wise in a 40-level 40 dun 40 dungeon. Hey, it's a potion of darkness. So, next time, I think I'm going to try and throw the potion of darkness at an enemy and see if I can blind him. Oh, and one thing that's cool about the interface is uh, this will tell you all the things you can see and where they are. So I'm seeing splint mail on the ground. I'm seeing inc more incendiary darts, a bunch of gold, a stock, upper staircase, a pink jelly, which is what usually kills me in this game. Although, I'm going to try and throw incendiary darts at it this time and see if that gets the job done. What's this yellow? bog, and a cloud of explosive gas, and splint mail. Um, let's come back to that area. Let's pick up some gold. Stupid pink slimes. Alright, let's try it. Six darts. Throw a dart. Get that guy. Throw it at this guy. And is it hitting him? Okay, and let's just keep burning him. I hate these things. They, they multiply and then they swarm you. It sucks. Uh, let's try and fight it like here. Oh, I did create a guy. Ha! All the fires are raging out of control. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, all the grass is on fire. Oh, everything's on fire. Oh, oh. Let's ah, try and get through the healing area. Oh. Whew. Man. Incendiary darts might be a little more dangerous than I realized. Okay, so I just burned all the grass. That's my bad. Try to feed the jackal. Got some more monies. Here's the more bog area. Let's not throw any, um... What happened? Oh, I feel weak with hunger. Let's eat some of those rations. I rarely live long enough to actually get hungry. And then we got Aquamarine Potion. What's Aquamarine, Aquamarine Potion do? Invisibility. Haha. -ha. The jelly's attacking me anyway. So that doesn't need sight, apparently. Ugh. Splits in two. Splits in two. Okay, there. I killed him. 
Thankfully, thankfully I have an axe and plus five splint mail, so... There's that. Ooh, a scroll identify. There's this splint mail, which... I don't quite have the, um... Strength for. I could identify the, the axe I'm using, maybe. Let's try that. Plus two axe. Sweet. We would have figured that out eventually just from using it. But it's kind of cool to know now. Ah! Listen to genetic toads. No hypnotoad, no. Oh god, there's an enemy here. I don't know what it is because I'm hallucinating. Oh, it was a sleeping conjure. Oh god dang it. Oh shoot. These are a cloud of caustic gas. We need to escape from this. That was... I didn't mean to hit that thing. I can damage my armor and stuff too, I think. Alright, let's go explore over here. There's a torch up here. It's kind of nice. Keeps things lit up. And... Hey, a potion! Lavender potion? What's that do? Ooh, telepathy. I can feel the presence of other minds. There's a rat over here. I can sense a small psychic emanation under the shallow water. Well, let's... Can I get a path over to that? Let's go those darts. They were fun. Oh, it must be an eel. It's probably some sort of underwater critter. Alright, let's go down to depth six. Yay! There's a worshipping goblin. Where's he at? Some sort of totem. Oh, wow. Created a makeshift totem and it with uh, shamantic power. Okay. That seems like a thing you can do if you're a goblin. This is uh, also a filthy little primate. Primate. A goblin. Alright. I'm not a big fan of fighting goblins, but I hit him, he missed me. I hit him, he missed me. I killed him. Alright. So goblins are pretty weak to me right now because I have a pretty powerful axe and um, real, real good armor. There's a chasm with a rope bridge suspended across the middle of it. Rickety rope bridge. What is this thing? Monstrous centipede. And it's imbued with a horrible venom that will slowly kill its prey. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm, tel I'm still telepathic. That's why I know... Oh, shoot, there's a pink jelly over here. Alright, let's try and kill this thing without getting hit. Oh, no. I can barely lift the axe. Two more strength would be ideal. Oh, it weakened me. I missed, it missed, I missed, it missed. I hit, I defeated it. Oh, man, but I'm weakened now. Down to 13 strength. Maybe for a little bit I should put my uh, dagger back in, in place. Just so that I'm able to fight more effectively. Ooh, a scroll of enchanting again. And more potions of telepathy. So if I want to enchant something, should I enchant this axe to make it more potent and then also more useful for my l weakened state? Yes. Yeah. There we go. It's not, it's not super ineffective now, but... Still not very ideal. Hopefully that's temporary. Oh yeah, it is weak in minus one. It's got a duration. What's this trap right here? Caustic gas trap. Well, we've seen enemies trigger those. I didn't know that was a thing. Cold marble statue. Weathered the years with grace. I wonder what it does. Anything? I walked into it and nothing happened. Let's go kill these goblins. What's this thing? Oh, it's just a pink jelly. Ha! I'm getting, uh, I'm fighting the pink jellies and they're, they're dying before me. That's nice. Ha! Killer totem. What is this? A bunch of bats. Vampire bat? I have a 74% chance to hit for just under half its health. Well, it's going to be a little bit of a fight. Nothing I can't handle, though. There's a caustic gas trap again. Here's the stairs going to depth 7. That's pretty awesome. I've never done this well before. Maybe it's good luck to be recording my video. I didn't intend to play this long. That's why I haven't been talking too much about the game itself. But... It's been a pretty good run, so maybe I'll go ahead and start talking about it. So, this is Brogue. 
And by now you've probably figured out, since I've been playing for 20 minutes, what the game is about. Vampire Bat. Die. Got him. Man, my armor uh, and my enchanted axe are really kicking some butt. Ah, this got that toe before it could get me. Uh, potion of unknown type. We got potions of darkness telepathy. This is a powerful potion. I'm going to save that. What's this one do? Oh, God, it's incineration. There's like no water around me. Oh, okay, I, 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 I ran out of uh, uh, healing. Or being on fire. I heal myself. Uh, okay, Let's, what was that thing? Acidic mound watering across the ground. Oh my god, it's blocking my way in. I don't want to fight that. That sounds terrifying. Ah, it's chasing me. Missing me. What are the odds of hitting me? 19% chance to hit me. It doesn't do much damage. Let's just try and kill it. Degrade your axe? No. Ah! Run away! Hopefully it doesn't follow me. Oh my god, it followed me. Ah! It followed me into depth 7! Okay, let's equip this mace. And we'll use that to fight it. Yes. I hit it, though. Yes. Yes. I'm actually missing it. I, I defeated it. Yay! Okay, so the mace is weakened. I'll just drop it. And then we'll put my axe back in place. Okay, there we go. Depth 7. We got some luminescent funguses and some filthy hay. And goblins. We're not afraid of goblins. I might be afraid of a bunch of goblins, though. Why can't I fight this guy? Why is he kicking my ass? He just is. Do I have anything I can use? I can always throw a dart. Missing, missing. Oh, he's, they were hasted? Why was he hasted? Oh god, I didn't want to click on it. I wanted to... Mm. Imbued it with shamantic power. Oh man, they're kicking my ass because they're next to these totems. Alright, let's try and heal myself with the Staff of Healing. Maybe I can't. Um, let's see. Make sure to confirm. Hmm, shoot. Well, I just get away from these goblins. Oh, look at that. Maybe the staff only works when you target something with it. Let's go try and kill some more goblins since I can heal myself. Die. You die. Okay, there we go. Ugh, man. That was kind of scary. Okay. Stupid frog. I'm hallucinating again. Oh no, it was a pink slime. Oh, it killed me. It was an ogre that defeated me. No, it wasn't really an ogre. I was hallucinating. Well, there you go. That's how it works. Yeah, did pretty good. That was my best game yet. See? Usually, a pink, usually, usually a pink jellies kill me. <laughs> Alright, there you go. I'm going to save the recording. I'm going to save the recording. I think this is my game 9. So there you go. Rogue. Thanks for watching.